to Meso dropping what I think is the first 64 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 3 B plus image. And just so you know, this will work on the old Raspberry Pi 3 1.2 gigahertz as well as the 1.4. So let's go ahead and check this image out. Let's check the games. Let's check the collections. Let's see what kind of options we're setting with. And uh, I think we're in for a treat here. 64 gig, great size, budget friendly, works for both Pies. All right, here we are in the image, and uh, some things right off the bat is um, it was set up for your controls, so you're all good there. Um, I did turn off the music. There's some, you know, Notorious B.I.G., Tupac, some uh, Black Rob, some some music like that. If you're into that, it's on there already. Uh, if you want to disable it, unfortunately, there's no script on here to just hit the script. But what you do is go to RetroPie and then go to uh, File Manager. You will need like a keyboard or something like that. Go to RetroPie directory, then your ROMs directory, and there's a music folder there. You can either delete the music, change your own music in there, or just don't remove the music at all. Once you've done that, you're at a point where I'm at here, which it boots up in showcase theme, a really beautiful theme that a lot of people like me as well. And um, the 64 Giger does have some PSP, and I believe it also has Dreamcast on there. So it's cool to see that the smaller image is rocking some of those more advanced games that the Raspberry Pi 4, I'm sorry, 3, 2B+, plus, I wish it was a 4, um, the, that will run. Uh, there's certain games that will run. It's just not all of them. What I did want to show is that all games, it has a total of about 7,000 games. There also is some hack games, and there is going to be bezels installed as well. So all games, 7131. Another cool little thing that's done on this image that isn't done on a lot of images is Amiga is all set up, ready to go with your controls. You don't need keyboard and mouse. It should work with a uh, controller. We'll test those out uh, shortly. So to get started, Amiga, 99 games. Atari 2600, 505 Atari 7861, Atari Lynx Portable 85, Coley Co Vision 140, Dreamcast 8 games, Dead or Alive 2, Guilty Gear, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, MK Gold, Power Stone, Project Justice, Soul Calibur, and WWF Royal Rumble. Uh, Final Burn Alpha 117 games. It's going to be your CPS games as well. Game and Watch 54, Game Gear 228. Game Boy 505, Game Boy Advance, big collection here, 903. Is there video snaps? I don't believe so. Okay, and I'm totally cool with that because this is a 64 gigabyte, and if you're going for a 64, you're going for that massive image, going for 7,000 games, including CD games like Dreamcast and PlayStation. This is the route to go. Uh, Game Boy Color 451, uh, MAME 640. So not a huge collection, but also not small either. So with MAME and Final Burn, you got about eight or 850 or so. Sega Master System 138, Sega Genesis, it does say Genesis, but if you want to switch to Master Drive um, or Mega Drive, there is a uh, script that you can use. Easy Hacks Toolkit is on here. I'll show you that momentarily. Nintendo 64, 19 games. Neo Geo, you got 121. Let's see if we got our Metal Slugs on here. For all you Metal Slug fans, yeah, buddy. Cool. Nintendo 958, and the reason why there's some translations on here, some Famicom translations, nice to see those. Um, quite a bit, actually. So cool to see those. Wow, a lot. Um, and then you have your regular Nintendo games as well. Neo Geo Pocket 6, Pocket Color 37, TurboGrafx 16, 140. Ports, too. You got Doom and Doom 2. Um, PSP 13. All right, so we got 321 Super Crash. So you get some PSP minis. Um, these aren't necessarily PSP. Okay, here's a PSP, Pac-Man Edition, the Terminator. Okay, so there's PSP and PSP minis in here. Uh, I've played this before. Now, these PSP games, we'll have to run them. He did recommend overclocking. We'll talk about that momentarily. Let's finish these games first, though. PlayStation 33. So nice to see some PlayStation games on a 64. These are a little larger in size. So sports games, fighter games, wrestling games. RetroPie, um, I'm going to show you the scripts in momentary. Let's go through the systems first. Sega 32X31. Sega CD, only 20. This is totally cool. This is where you can save some space, especially if you're only playing certain Sega CD games. SG1068, Super Nintendo 881. Again, you got some, uh, some Super Famicom that have been translated for you. So nice to see those. Those are some cool games right there. Vetrix 21, 
Virtual Boy 19, Wonder Swan Color 19, and then we go to our collections. You can turn these on and off very easily by going into game collection settings, and you can turn them on. You can just uncheck them here if you don't want them. But you got Castlevania, CPS 123, DK. Um, so here's another system though, family computer system, 104. Uh, Final Fantasy Collection Game Gear Hacks. So here you go, you got some hack games there. The King of Fighters Collection, Mario Collection, Mega Man Collection, Mortal Kombat Collection, Nintendo Hacks Collection. So you got some cool hacks in here. Pepsi Man in there. Nice to see. Super Mario Bros. Superman. All right. WTF Tetris. That's uh, I played that the other day. It's uh, definitely hard. <laughs> PC Engine CD-ROM. You do have Castlevania on there. Super Cam Famicom 123. Now these are also going to be in the Super NES folder as well. Uh, Super Nintendo Hacks. Some cool little hack games to try out. Some uh, Super Mario Kart hacks. Things like that. Fun stuff. So some more collection, Sonic, Star Wars, Street Fighter, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Wrestling, Zelda, and then custom collections, you have your SNES Mini and your NES Mini collection. So all the games that came with that, including Star Fox 2, are going to be in there. Uh, so Star Fox 2 is on this image. It's just not in the proper directory. Okay, not a huge deal. Okay, I think we just about had that. Zelda, custom collections, and then back to all games. Favorites, what does he have? WWF. Rage in the Cage. You can obviously add favorites to that. Amigo, this was something I wanted to check, which is he, it was mentioned that, okay, cool, custom loading screens. It was mentioned that you should be able to go from here and use it, just your controller. So I'm using the uh, Logitech F710. I just set up my controls and I booted the image, and uh, it's working. Start select works to exit. Nice to see. select out of there so that's working good okay so here we go let's test this out okay so it's running pretty good Something cool about this image is it does have that auto Amiga install. It also has the Easy Hacks toolkit installed, so things like changing Sega Mega Genesis to Mega Drive, um, TurboGrafx 16 to PC Engine graphics, um, Power Button script, uh, Nintendo 64 tweaks, people that have audio issues, uh, Overscan issues, AimTrack light gun, Zinmo controller, um, really cool stuff. I highly recommend checking this stuff out. Add video splash screens, easy to do. It's all done by Forrest Easy Hacks. Go check out his channel. Really cool that he installed this for you already. But something I did want to show you guys was that um, to get, in order to get Dreamcast to get started, is you do need to set up your Dreamcast controls. You do need a keyboard for this part. It is running, uh, by the way, 4.3.16. But you go over here to Configuration Tools, Rycast. Go and press OK. Configure your device. Yes. OK. Hit 2. All right, now we're inside. Do you want to map? Yes, we want to map exit button. I'm going to select the middle of my controller, the little Logitech button. If you have an Xbox 360, you can use the Xbox button. Do you want to A? Yes. Do A on your controller. Do you want to B? Yes. Do B on your controller. Do you want to C? I usually say no. Do not do this. D, no, X. Yes. Hit X on your controller. Especially if you have a PlayStation controller. Yes, you want a Y. Hit the Y. Uh, Z button. No. Uh, start button, yes. You can use start. Another way to use your exit button is to um, use select. 
Do you want to map a D-pad? Yes, I do. Hit left on the D-pad. Hit up on the D-pad. Do you want a second D-pad? No. No, I don't. Do you want to trigger left? Yes. Trigger left. Yes, right. Trigger right. Do you want an analog stick? Yes. Move your analog stick as far left as possible. Move your analog stick as far up as possible. And you're done. All right. So now we're all done with Rycast controls. And uh, we can just go straight into a Dreamcast game now. So one of the best Dreamcast games and runs good on the Pi is Power Stone. Again, you can get better results overclocking. I talked about that earlier. Um, I'm on stock clock for this video. Though, this entire video. In the 19th century, people are strong believers of super. Welcome to Power. I set up my exit button, and there I am, exited. So here you have it, Demeso, really cool stuff, some cool bezels, especially on the portables and things like that. Huge collection of games, especially considering it's got PSP, uh, PlayStation, Dreamcast, uh, Sega CD, uh, nice little arcade set. Really nice to see 64 gig all the way updated with the scripts pre-installed for the ra brand new Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. If you're interested in Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, the prices on Amazon are getting better. Those links are in the description if you're interested. If you have the old Raspberry Pi, though, uh, it's a great image as well. It is backwards compatible. And, you know, it's good to get something like this because if you ever do end up upgrading or buy another Pi, you can buy the new one or the old one and be ready for it. So really great work from DeMeso. Love it. Got to give this one an A. Um, you know, I've, I couldn't find, Star Fox was in the SNES Mini. There might be some things that I find along the way. This is just kind of my first uh, attempt playing it. But I really like those Amiga games being able to play. And I think that's a, it's kind of a, a barrier to entry with Amiga. It's a little intimidating to get that all working. So the fact that that's already done for you is a big plus. Um, other than that, it has all your favorites on here as well. So thumbs up, you know, going all over the place here. Um, so with that, I give it an A. I like it. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and then we'll catch you on the next one.